Hello, my name is Tao. I want to present a three-minute video for multi-criteria dimensionality reduction with applications to fairness paper accepted to NeurIPS 2019. Let's start first with the motivation. We perform the standard PCA on the real data of face image consisting of male and female group. What we observe is that the reconstruction error for male group is consistently better than female group for many target dimensions. Here we see that the reconstruction error is about 10% better for male than female. So the question is, how can we make it more fair to both groups? Our first contribution is to formulate a problem as multi-criteria dimensionality reduction, or MCDR, as you can see. Here you can think of Fi as the generalization of variance. I give you projection P, the group, may define their own utility, something more general than just the variance. And social welfare here doesn't have to be the sum, like total variance as in standard PCA, but it can be other functions. So for example, in net social welfare, the FI utility is the same, it's just the variance. The social welfare is taken to be the product instead of sum. Another example is marginal loss. In this case, the fi is not the variance, but the change of variance between the best projection the group could have gotten compared to the given projection, which may be different because of the group in the same data set. And g is taken to be the group that has the worst performance. Algorithmically, we give a polynomial time algorithm for this problem. The guarantee is that it has the optimal utility and small rank violation, S, which is roughly square root of two times the number of groups. By scaling, we can also achieve no rank violation, but with approximation ratio 1 minus S over D on utility. In practice, we develop another method called multiplicative weight update, which scales better. We perform an experiment, and here's an example. We look at the marginal loss objective compared between our algorithm, SDP round, and normal PCA. SDP round is specified to maximize net social welfare and SF and minimize marginal loss. And in interestingly, even though it's specified to maximize net social welfare, in marginal loss objective is still performed significantly better than normal PCA. Our theoretical contribution is to prove that every extreme point of the STP relaxation has low rank. And this is a connection we make between optimization community and machine learning community. We give a complexity result of this problem, showing the NP hardness of general for general K and polynomial time solvability for fixed K. The code is available online on GitHub. We also have a web page that gives more explanation and motivation for fair PCA. Thank you for listening.